we're back. Um, different colored shirt now, so we're good. All right. Um, wanted to do this a little later because um, I don't have enough, but thinking about it, I think it would be fine doing this video now and then later on because I know I'm gonna buy more of these. Um, later on, I would um, just update it, you know? Including, just including the ones that I have here. So, what am I talking about, you might ask? Um, I am talking about my vinyls. Yeah, I collect vinyls. Um, so, this is just a quick little video that I wanted to do because uh, I got that motivation now, you know? I got, I have, I, yeah. I'm all in now, so, uh, well, I don't want to, like, I'll burn myself, or I'll do myself, but I'll, yeah, I'm uploading here and there now, but, um, why don't we get started? So, uh, I'm gonna, I, I had an order, but now, uh, I kind of want to go by date, so, um, first, we have... And I'm proud that I own this one because I like it. Yeah. <laughs> we have... We have No Pressure by Logic. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is the front, obviously, and then this is the back. And oh my god, <laughs> the art style is so amazing. I love this album. Um, yeah, now before, um, before this, he had some mid to bad albums. Um, I like Bobby Tarantino, too. That's like my favorite album by him. Dis discounting um, under pressure, um, but yeah, this is what the this is what the inset look, looks like. It's just orange. Wait, no, nope, wrong way. It's just orange. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a normal. If I could take it out, because it's two two discs. Um, this is what it looks like. Just a black. It's just black. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy listening to this album. Granted, I don't have a turntable. I know. Why buy vinyls if you don't have a turntable? Leave me alone. I just like collecting a lot. Um, <laughs> but, um, this is, like, number two. Number three, actually, to my favorite Logic albums. Um, one being Bobby Tarantino 2 and two being Under Pressure, as previously mentioned. But, um, yeah. Next is, uh... I love this album actually. <laughs> All these albums I love. I have uh, Chelsea Cutler's How to Be Human album. Um, this is the bag. I like that. I like. I, I love these colors. That's oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah. Um, she. I started listening her since like when. When did sixteen come out? I think it was. Okay, I just did research as in like computer in front of me uh 2017 was when uh she came out with 16 that one single um for her uh snow in october ep yeah and i fell in love with her um then i listened to this album and i fell in love with her even more and then i listened to when i closed my eyes and i fell in love with her even more so um yeah she is my favorite um she's my favorite female artist of all time uh with this and when you open it oh my god bro i love it when you open it you have pictures of her in in some song lyrics too i don't know if you guys can read that whoops that is bad can you read that yeah some song lyrics there and i just like this i like this a lot and then the cool part i like this part too um the cool part um when you open it meaning like when you open the sleeve um it, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the disc, which is also black, right, it's also black, um, but, wait, hold on, let me see something, okay, but also, it shows, like, all the lyrics, too, like, of all the songs that are in, on, on the album, too, which is pretty cool, and it's, uh, it's on the other side, too, I know I'm doing this a little too fast, but, like, I'm trying to, yeah, can you see? Yeah. I don't know if... I, I think the text is too small to read. But, um... 
Yeah, it's it's there. But I love this. I love this album so much. My favorite songs on this. Hold on, I get, I can't remember. I think without just without looking at the back. Um, sad tonight. Uh, oh, I should have probably done it for no pressure too. Favorite songs is uh, sad tonight. Um, I forgot. <laughs> um, sad tonight. Strange disease again. Uh, NJ. Hold on, why don't I just do this? Sad tonight. Uh, Strange Days Again. Uh, are You Listening is a good one. NJ. Um, hold on. Probably should be doing... You Are Losing Me is my favorite track on this. Uh, Lucky's Good. Actually, it's one of the best tracks on the album. And Crazier Things is a good one. Um, but yeah. And then on... Hold on. Previous. I know I'm backtracking. But no pressure. Right. I, lo I just, I don't know, I love this blue. Oh, it's so good. Um, my my favorite tracks are the intro, uh, Hit My Line. Wait, can you see? Yeah, right here. Hit My Line. Gotta have to go, go closer. Uh, Growing Pains 4 is a good one, too. Um, I really like Soul Food, too. Perfect is probably my favorite one there. Um, and Amen. I'm, I think it's Amen, or heard him say. No, I heard him say it's good. I think Amen is the one I'm thinking about that's 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 good too. But my favorite one on this is Hit My Line. Hit My Line and Perfect are my favorites. Um, and then lastly, uh, we got... This is the one I have hidden from my family. So, yeah. And... Oh, that would have been bad. It's Travis Scott. Yeah. It's Birds in the Trap Sick McKnight. Um, you can see why I would hide this. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is the that's the front. This is the back. I, the back looks amazing compared to the other two. This I don't know. I like logic, but you just have an eagle here with all the songs, bro. It looks goaded. Um, but yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. I really like this Travis Scott album. This is maybe my favorite one that he's released. Granted, Astro World and um, Rodeo are good. I just, this one just stuck around with me a lot. But um, when you open the sleeves to um, it shows, these are both, it shows him and then, like, a, uh, hostage, you know, when, when a hostage is taken and they send, like, uh, a, a note, yeah, it's with the, with the magazine letters, yeah, this is what it reminds me of, but, um, that, and then it shows too back here, I really don't want, it's another black, um, it's another black, another black disc. God, I can't take it out. Pause. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put it back. And uh, the other cool thing I like about this is uh, wait, where's the sleeve? Oh, it's above. I'm stupid. Um, it shows the song, and then it shows like the side it's on. So this is side A, side B. And uh, hold on, let me just put this back. Please. Okay. Because sometimes when you put the like sleeves back, it's kind of hard to uh slide right back in i don't know why but um yeah no my my favorite tracks off of this hold on i think i get a close-up i don't think that's gonna work um the ends i really like the ends way back's good coordinates good through the late night i did believe it or not through the late night it, i didn't think that was like um when i heard day and night by kid cuddy i didn't know that was supposed to resemble through the late night through the late night resembles you know what i mean i didn't know that was part of that so that kind i kind of looked on there um uh sweet sweet's a good one outside is my favorite track i love that 21 savage feature goosebumps is my favorite track too because that's like the best track of all time um pick up the phone is a good one and wonderful i love but um yeah that, that's it. That's first in the trap. Same thing. But, um, yeah, I thought I wanted... Not I thought I wanted. I wanted to do this for a while. It's just more so... I only have three to show off. But, um... I know in the future I'm going to be buying more because I have literally a whole last notes list on my laptop and my phone. And I'm crossing out each album that I get. Or each vinyl that I get. But, um... Yeah, I just wanted to do that and show you guys what I have for vinyls because I love collecting vinyls. But um, I'm going to make sure I do that 
this these upcoming months and I don't I don't know if I have like I want to say if I have like five more three more again um I'll do another one of these definitely most definitely it's just right now I can't um but yeah if you guys liked it then yeah like it um I'll see you guys next time